Well, welcome back to Dev Need a Doctor, and now the doctor's abandoned him. Oh, shit. Where'd he go? He's, oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we just got a side quest from him. To I didn't want to bore you guys right? with all the text, because that guy was quite chatty. Yeah, I, I did see... Uh, I didn't see that one, Volderperny, but I did see a Mass Effect Andromeda gift today. Oh, there's stuff to get. There's always stuff to get. <laughs> yes, stuff. No, it was it was basically uh, what was it? There was a fight between a human woman, I think, and a Krogan male, and the woman like punch him in the face. The woman is better. Punch him in the face, and then like awkwardly kind of turned her shoulder in a natural way, and the Krogan like shouldered her in her shoulder and she went flying and it was like the shittiest looking fight I've seen ever. Good God. You know what? I'm, it, okay, we already talked about it last part, but holy shit, is that game going to be a goddamn disappointment? An ancient cave. My sister got a little chihuahua dog and then she was going time outside the house not taking care of it. What the hell is supposed to go there? Oh, it goes around, I guess. Yeah. Alright, maybe jump down. Yeah. Holy bio. I think Bioware used to be synonymous with, with great games. You really? Never did. Uh, what? No, never. Really? Yeah. Baldur's Gate? Yep. I stand by it. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Get, the fuck. Get out the way, bitch. Oh, uh, yeah. People like 8chan oh. over 4chan nowadays because of Gamergate, basically. Half-chan? Yeah, they call it half-chan and they call it 8chan full-chan. Has that janky image since Jason Jerry's became more and more apparent over time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get out of the way! <laughs> Just run him down. Move. You know what I want to see? An open world modern RPG like this game, but for the Secret of Mana series. Ooh. That would be good, that eh? That would be nice. Yeah. But would it be feasible to really have that sort of gameplay? It is this game, but just three people doing it. Whoa! Run him down! Remember when uh, Twilight Princess did horseback combat and it was awesome? Then Skyward Sword just completely abandoned the idea for really shitty bird flying? <laughs> Get out of here! That's a jo- what? Where is that guy? It's like an anteater! Well, he went down easy. I'm going to eat something. Yeah, please do so. Let's see, what should I eat? Take the route to the right to reach the tower. Oh, I think we're in a fight already, though, McLaughlin. Sorry. <laughs> Bioware has never made great games, Dave Nix. You just have shit taste in games. If only you like weeb stuff like us. Yeah. It's really Naomi was looking at uh, Singer and Kagura Peach Beach Splash uh, earlier. It's, ba it's it's It looks oh, like... No. I'm, I'm probably wrong. But it looks like a third-person match-based shooter, but it's all just anime girls using water guns and bathing suits. That's so dumb. Get out of here. Oh, shit. I've been using up all my... Oh, those are the Moblins. Yeah, because there's the Boko Blins and then the Moblins, right? The Moblins are usually bigger. I wonder what I think. You see a top-down 2D game that's influenced by Breath of the Wild. It's having your resources to survive the improvements brought from enemies. That sounds like fucking Stardew Valley. Hmm. So there's the mob one. The mob and Fang, too. Yes. Oh my god, that's terrible. Center and Kagura has a pure titty series? Yeah, I know. How can someone hate something so pure? <laughs> Moblins are Boko Blins who've been stretched out. I would hope the Master Sword doesn't break. That sounds ridiculous. Can't buy. I can't take any more shields. Arrow. Hello. I mean, they had a durability system in Skyward Sword. I know that the uh, the, the best shield in that game didn't break. Damn it. Get get rid of some of your shields, man. Yeah, get rid of that piece of shit.
You gotta start selling some of this stuff, man. Look at all this loot you could be selling. Get out of here. Yeah, I don't really have... You don't scavenge resources to survive and survive value, you farm then? Well, whatever. Nah, no, I can't do that. <gasps> you beautiful bastard, where are you? Oh! Dave's the shittiest hunter. I need to see where he went. Oh, shit. Dave, take a shot! Dude, it's like, it's like, it's like Mr. Jefferson always said, always take the shot. so much. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to replay Life is Strange. We're going to do, do, do like a Renegade run instead of a Paragon run this time. What the fuck are you talking about, you Life total is moron? Do you want to play Life is Strange again? No, Dev. I mean, like, there's season two, which is new, but I would not play this first one again. Yeah, McLaughlin, and I saw that video. They, 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 they like, remade, uh... Legend of Zelda 1 with Breath of the Wild's inventory system huh. as, as, part of their, as part of their presentation. I'm guessing I have to go all the way around for this. Cause... Dave, see if you can see the tower from where you are. There's apparently a tower close by. A tower, really? Yeah. Like, look up. Up! I am looking up. Nope, just a bunch of mobos. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh, there it is. Go for it, dude. That's... How the fuck? This oh, game is get horrible. Up there. More Life is Strange is great. <laughs> we already played Life is Strange on the channel, man, like a year ago. It was a lot of fun, but I wouldn't want to play it again. Hell no. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Yep. Good. Treasures. Yeah, dude, I would recommend selling your selling off your weapons and armor, man, next time you hit a town, because like this is all just money that you're that you're, that you're losing, you know? Yeah. Story of Seasons is like another farm game, like like start like Harvest Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley, etc. <laughs> God damn it, I'm dying. Get to the towers to backtrack down the road you came from and cross the stone bridge. Okay. Oh, oh damn it! I, I I was thinking of doing that initially too. Oh, well, just oh. kill kill that mobo and then you can get over there. I don't even have to. Goblin's like, huh? Oh? What's, what's going Fuck. on? Fuck. <laughs> Hello? Turn. Turn. Fucking turn. Jesus Christ, boy. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, moron. There was something that you guys said that I didn't reply to that I want to reply to, but I'm, I don't care. Because I can't. I can't think of it. See, he says he loves you, but he actually doesn't. I'm fucking sick. God I'm damn sick it. Of you, I'm sick of you just making lies. Oh, Matapasta asked why Zelda was so. Everyone loves it so much. Um. It's a, it's it was, a, it's a classic story. It was the first of its time way back in the day. It created some of the best games of, of their genres and their eras up till probably about Twilight Princess. Anything after Twilight Princess is, I mean, for example, I really like Skyward Sword, but I also understand that it's very by the by the books, you know. It does not innovate in any way. It's just a regular. It's like basically Ocarina of Time with new aesthetics, you know. But like, basically, Matapasta, um, it's a it's a long beloved franchise that used to really really innovate. It doesn't innovate so much anymore, but people still love it, you know. You know what I mean? You following me? Picking up what I'm putting down? Oh my god, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Zelda's a fixed story, but one of the one most well-made series of that type. Basically, a game where it basically retells the same central story every single time, but with different elements. Yep. Pretty much. Though to be fair, sometimes the stories are different. Like in Minish Cap, Ganon wasn't even involved. It was old Vati. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, I mean, it's form. Yeah, but it, it, it's part. Of, it's formative. It's part of. It's. It still connects to the main story eventually. Yeah, and also like every. No, here's the thing. Here. Pretty much every Zelda game has. Well, like from Link to the Past onwards, has this whole, you know, normal world of Hyrule and then hidden world. 
you know? In Link to the Past, it was the Dark World. Yeah. You know, in, in Link's Awakening, it was the, the whole idea of the island being, you know, a dreamscape. Yeah. In, um, in Oracle of Seasons, it was the Four Seasons. In Oracle of Ages, it was the Past, Pet, Present, and Future. In, fuck, what else was there? In Ocarina of Time, it was like the adult world that you travel to after being a child. Yeah, you know it's about, about growing up. You know, there was the Twilight Realm, and then there was Majora's the, Mask. I, the I world think, of Earth and Sky. Like and Majora's Mask, I feel is it's 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 kind of it's like, it's very different. It's not the same thing. No, no. Uh, okay, I need to stand on that guy. Yeah, chow down. There you go. Whew, lucky. <laughs> See, man, it's a good thing I kept cooking. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Twilight Princess had, had the Twilight Realm. Um, Sky, Skyward Sword had like the world of the surface because you're all in the sky. Like the entire civilization is just in the sky. Yeah. Um, Minish Cap had had like the the shrink down world of the Minish, which goes unnoticed by humans. Yep. Like almost every Zelda game follows us like similar themes of. There be like, like you kind of pull back the curtain and see the hidden world that you didn't know was there before. Exactly. Oh, Crips. Yeah, Majora's Mask is the best Zelda. Too bad they'll never make a dark one like that. Again, you mean? Hey, Madapass, did you did you ban that that fag bin that was here? You went around the wrong way. Oh no, Dave! That was a dumb mistake! That was a dumb mistake! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my god, Dave, you're... Yes. Wow. Wow, guys. That was a fucking sight to behold. <laughs> <laughs> I survived. <laughs> No talent gaming. Aptly named. Yeah, need more Aptly named since 2012. When all else fails, use fire. Wait! What are we waiting for? Dave's stupidity? <laughs> Dave, walk it off, Nix. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Rub some dirt on it, it'll be fine. Rub some dirt. I vote the death counter goes up anyway. <laughs> no. That's, that's legit. Here, Dave, we should actually conserve some time here. Next time you got to rest for stamina, I'm going to fill up my water. Because you got you got to wait, like, you know, 20 seconds over as it, as it refills. How would you refill my asshole? Is that an invitation? <laughs> no. <laughs> kind of beautiful, man. You have, like, the rain and... The... Here, give me some water. Oh, it's already filled. The stamina. You're too slow at pouring water, dude. Oh, you, you'll, you'll never be a waiter at this rate. I, I, no, I won't. Well, actually, you will, because you're getting your fucking your your bachelor's in English rhetoric. Still better than what the hell you got. Uh, literature. I got a fucking degree in YouTubeology. Yeah. Dev better die five times before Dave. I want to see that magic number. They they want to see. They want to see you die. They Every vine will be fire. Oh, if you just shoot it with fire arrows, does it burn the whole thing down? You can just easily get to the top? Well, we fucked that up. Birth ball doesn't look as polished as the other game. I, I, I disagree. This game has a fair amount of polish, in fact. Um, I think its open world emptiness adds to the charm of the fact that it is, in fact, a ruined world this time. Yeah. Every almost every other Zelda well, we played plan, in, they planned this out completely. Yeah. I mean, Skyward Sword has some, had some desolate qualities to it, but it's not but like not this. like this. Yeah. This is a completely ruined world that somehow it's it, it's 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 like comparing. And I think I mentioned this. Try shooting with a fire arrow, man. Up here. Yeah, you have some fire arrows. Yeah, shoot that. All right. Oh, no, shit. fire arrows, man. Fire arrows. How do I do that again? I don't know. I think it's in your menu. 
Other menu. Oh, it's this one. Okay. And it does. Nice. Oh, cool. Oh. Wait. Wait. Zoom out. Zoom out. Oh. Everything's on fire. Nice. Cool. If I had the power to act YouTube hack YouTube, I'd, I'd hack the NTG for all the videos and have them play the U sex every time Death Counter goes up. I'm not gonna do that. That's too. That's just mean. Yeah. The Moblins rule everything. Yeah, kinda. They're just everywhere, dude. Ganon won in this timeline. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Woo! Lucky. Look at that amazing rain, dude. Lucky! That looks nice. I'm happy. Yay, we did it. What are we doing so anyway? Like, We're trying to get down to the village. I mean, I mean, okay, this gives us the map. What does it do for the story? Just Dave next screaming, no, every time the death counter goes up. No. God damn it. Timelines, after playing more, I'm thinking they merged the timeline somehow. How did they merge it? What do you mean, McLaughlin? Why? What area is this? It's hard to know. Hey, it's the towers from Ask Creed. Exactly. And then you can just kind of fly off in any direction you want. Let's see. That's obviously okay. Dude, just wait. Get out of there for a minute. See that up there? Way off, like, no, to the left? That red thing in the distance? Yeah, no, that's a shrine. Put a beacon there and fly over. Oh, you gotta, you gotta put a beacon. You can't just... You can get a click on the leather stick. Yeah. And be like, let's go there and get us... Bing. Okay. That's our destination. Let's go. Da da dun 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 You imagine how awesome it would be to do this with the Wind Waker? Oh, you just go as the crow flies. Just go as the glider flies, man. Don't worry about this giant mobo patrolling a path. Just land right on his face and kill him. Say, hey, Moblin! Oh, you didn't actually land on him. That's disappointing. Yeah. We can get the fuck out. I don't think they're right. Brit 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 Adventures of Links from all three split timelines. Does it really, McLaughlin? McLaughlin, here, I don't mind you spoiling this because now I'm kind of curious. Without giving any details, which links does it reference? If you don't mind bringing them up. I'm guessing Ocarina Dude, Link. Dude, turn, turn the other way. What are you doing? What? Go go for the shrine first. And go up there. It'll be the high ground. You can just fly back down to your other destination because that's like in a valley. If I have the high ground. I have the high ground, Anakin. Oh, yeah, the path, I think. I think the path just leads directly to it. Well, there you go. At least I think it does. Yup. Oh, nice. <sighs> oh, look, it's a fishy fish. You, you just like grab the fish out of the water? Jesus. Fuck fishing. Just press the A button. Yeah, man. He's like he's like a Chinese farmer. He just grabs it right out of the water. Ocarina of Time, Zelda 1, Twilight Princess, and Wind Waker. Yeah, those are all different different timelines. Ocarina of Time is where they is where they split. Oh, oh, that's a fire arrow, huh? Oops. Mer Oh bow. no! My bow! Oh, that went down so well, too. Bastards. McLaughlin. 
Barring the CDI ones. Well, of course not the CDI ones. Holy mother of God, that's far. Yeah, but we're actually getting pretty close. Okay. McLaughlin, I'm, I'm going to... Feel free to answer my questions in the least spoilery way possible, okay? Um, Ocarina of Time. That is all, all three Zelda timelines split during Ocarina. So, of course, it's going to be referenced, okay? From what I recall, the Wind Waker references amount to the Koroks, the, uh, what are they called, the Rudo, the flying people? Rudo. The, yeah, yeah, the bird people, and uh, the, the references of an ancient sea in the item called the Rock Salt, right? I just want to point out that the, the Rito and the Koroks could have independently evolved in this timeline as well as in the Wind Waker timeline. They don't necessarily, this doesn't necessarily need to be after Wind Waker. Um, and that the Ancient Sea could actually refer to Skyward Sword's Ancient Sea. Because if you, were, if you remember, there was an Ancient Sea that dried up during the time of Skyward Sword. Like, the, the, the desert area in Skyward Sword used to be a, a place called the Ancient Sea. Oh, they're on horses. Jeez. They kind of suck at animal husbandry. Yep. So it, it doesn't necessarily need, even though it has those Wind Waker references, there are explanations for this not being after Wind Waker. Now, from what I know about... Yeah! From what I know about the timeline for Twilight Princess as being referenced in this game, I think you get, you get to see the Mirror of Twilight at some point, right? I mean, it would make sense that, that even though, like, even in, a, in the timelines where Twilight Princess didn't actually happen, that the artifact, the Mirror of Twilight, would still exist, because the artifact comes from, like, pre-Skyward Sword times. So, I guess, the, the logic would be that in Twilight Princess, the stuff around the Mirror of Twilight happens, and then in this game, if this game doesn't take place during Twilight Princess's timeline, the Mirror of Twilight has just basically sat dormant that entire time. We're over time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll find out next time.